I got a phone call from his brother saying one of the co-workers had called and said that he had fallen. And I, I, I pretty much knew I, I'm paralyzed. I couldn't move my legs. And, and I said, how bad? I want to know now. Tell me right now. And they said that he had no feeling. He couldn't feel his legs. Well, when I was going into surgery, it was scary. And I knew that I was paralyzed. I didn't know what the outcome was going to be. He was referred by his neurosurgeon. And he, he's a guy that will tell you how it is. He's not going to sugarcoat nothing, so, which is it's good. Yeah, it spoke very, very highly of you and said, do we want close or do we want the best? And you said, we want the best. He goes, then Sunny View is where you want to be. On January 22nd, 2015, Sunny View Rehabilitation Hospital, at a widely attended press conference, introduced the newly acquired Rewalk Exoskeleton, another advanced technology to help restore hope and dignity for those whose lives have been shattered. We do amazing things here. So what makes it so amazing is that we change people's lives. We allow people to go home. We're constantly looking to really find the most current and up-to-date equipment that's available to help our patients out. And that's why I think Sunnyview is known for its cutting-edge technology. So um, we have the Rewalk system, obviously, which we're talking about today, but we also have other technology. We have the Therastride locomotor training system, which again, it's another mechanism to help people get up and walk. We have. Um, an augmentative and, augmentative and assistive communication program, which is helping people to communicate if they're not able to verbalize. Um, there's different kind of systems you can use for that, where it's more of a computer-generated voice system for some people is one example of that. We have different kind of systems for individuals to help them regain use of their arms. Uh, we have an in-motion robot system, which really helps people to relearn to use their arms, and it also ties into this whole theory of neuroplasticity, which has kind of come into awareness, I guess, for all of us in the last 10 years or so, 10 to 15 years, where we really can rewire parts of the brain to take over for damaged parts. So we're constantly looking at the evidence, looking at you know what's available, and making sure that some of you has that for the patients we serve. So there's a committee here who looks at um, the up-and-coming rehabilitation equipment and up-and-coming therapies that are happening both in the country and in the world. And they sit down and think, what would most benefit the patients that we serve? group at the hospital called our Practice Innovations Group, which um, has representation from all the major disciplines within rehab that is always looking at the literature to try to find out what's going on in rehab to, to keep us at the cutting edge of, of what's available for patients. But also making certain that we're not just jumping at the first thing that comes along. I um, want to make certain that anything that we're investing time and especially the resource of money in is something that's going to give back to our patients. What we look at when we're looking at a piece of technology, particularly an expensive piece, um, like the rewalk is quite expensive is we want to look at the benefits that it offers, we want to look at the population it's going to benefit and how that fits into the populations that we see, or also the potential for us to you know, expand our populations and serve others that we aren't currently serving. About two years ago we had uh, the company come and do a demo with us and uh, it was amazing and we did some research and decided yes it was something we wanted to pursue and an incomplete injury made him a good candidate for it. The other things that we were looking for for our initial patient for us to learn from and to learn with it was that he was highly motivated, um, had a great personality, would try anything. When I asked him if he wanted to try it with us and be our first patient while we were learning as well. He, he was like, sure, that would be really cool. Our director and assistant director for the Neuro Rehab Institute selected four physical therapists and two of our rehabilitation aides to be part of the team who was trained to use the rewalk initially. You know, from day one when I got here and I realized that my injury was incomplete, I, uh, I said, well, I got a chance. It's, it's a slight chance, but I got a chance. So, you know, they're all, I can tell that all of the people here care, you know. The therapist pushed me, and that's good. And that gives you, not only I have my own confidence, but that boosts your confidence. So it's good, and they, they believe in me just as much as I believe in myself, which is good, so. They are wonderful, and I've got to say, that the therapist here, and this, I'm telling the exact truth, is they actually, you go some places and you see people that act like they're 
there for their paycheck. Do you know what I'm saying? They all seem to be into their job, like they really, really care about what they're doing and they're really trying to help and I am so impressed with that. There's not a single person that I have met here that does not look like they don't enjoy their job. And 